this is uh, not a really a test video, but this is just a kind of to show you a new knife that I've come out with, a new model that I kind of really like actually. Um, this is the uh, Snake Eater model. This is the there's two two versions of it. This is the combat version that I'm holding here, and uh, there's a more utility version of it. All of you longtime knife fans will probably recognize this profile. Uh, the knife that it's based off of, it is uh, based on the Sizo knife. That, uh, Sizo issued a knife to uh, Special Forces during the Vietnam War and uh, to SOG, uh, Studies and Observation Group. And uh, this is what it, the characteristics of it were. These two humps where it's a uh, kind of calling card and the clip point. Now, of course, mine differs. Uh, mine's a full tang instead of a hidden tang. Uh, of course, it's got the stylized guard on it. But uh, I also have the, uh, on the combat version, I have this uh, exposed tang on the back. This will be uh, a little longer in production. Whenever I start, I say production, I make them each by hand. But whenever I start making them uh, for customers, this, uh, this tang will be extended a little bit farther and the handle material will go a little bit farther because right now it's a little short. So that'll be extended out. That's uh, not really to take the place of a pommel plate. Uh, that's more for cracking melons and coconuts. Uh, I don't really uh, like to make these exposed tangs to, to hit on the back because there's still a chance that you can hit your handle material there and bust it off. The uh, pommel plate, which I don't care for <laughs> making because it takes so much longer uh, but the pommel plate is the way to go with that if you're wanting to do stuff like that. This can take, you know, some some force on the back. Just know that you run the risk of possibly knocking your, your handle scales off. And this really isn't a test. This is more of a, like I, say, like I said earlier, just more of a show you the model. Uh, the reason it's not a test is because this knife, this profile, is basically a Green River. A knife that I've tested, you know, pretty exclusively extensively. This, the only difference is between this and the Green River basically are the two humps and the clip point. Uh, if you lay this knife on top of the Green River profile it's almost exactly the same. As I'm sure as a lot of you know I'm pretty big on uh, you know trying to say thanks to all those who sign their name on the dotted line and this is just another um, fulfillment of that I guess you'd say. A lot of people don't like the guards on knives, which I understand. That's okay. Um, they say that it gets in the way, and for them it might. But for me, honestly, it doesn't. I don't uh, ever really see it, have a problem with it. The uh, one thing that a guard does help with, for me anyway, is uh, the stabbing. Whenever I pound a knife in, you know what? you know, you'd call a stabbing motion or whatever. Uh, it keeps me from, from my hand from sliding down the blade. Also for uh, gutting, you know, a knife gets slippery with blood. It is nice to have that guard there. I think so anyway. Because I have come close to cutting my hand that way. It's about the only way I've come close to cutting my hand with a knife other than being an idiot doing stuff I shouldn't do. I'll put up an information sheet on this knife, uh, giving credit to the designer. I can't remember his name. He was with uh, Sizo. Uh, I think that stands for uh, Counterinsurgency Supply Office. I can't remember for sure. All the acronyms confuse me a lot. But uh, I'll put all that information up. Give credit to the original designer of this knife because, uh, you know, he deserves it. I like to uh, tell everybody where my ideas come from as much as I can. Because, uh, you know, I went right. And as usual, I'm building a split wood fire. Great test for a knife, I think, and fun to do. Good practice, too. You'll notice the guard doesn't get in the way.
some people ask uh, why the guard is slanted so much. And uh, first of all, it's because it looks cool, I think. And second of all, it does give you some handle room at the bottom. Give you a little bit more room than you would normally have with a regular guard. And you get the benefits of having a guard. Uh, the clip point gives some people the heebie-jeebies or turns them off a little bit. Um, I understand that. Uh, it's not a, something I would choose for a, a hunting knife, that's for sure. I just don't care for that clip. It really wants to get in and, you know, cut your, cut the stomach open or worse things <laughs> whenever you're gutting. And uh, so, I, yeah, it's not a hunting type profile, but as far as straight out woods work like what I do here, or what I'm doing here, um, I don't mind it at all. It uh, kind of gives a neat spot to aim for with your, your uh, beater stick, your baton. It just it goes quick. Need some air. So that's it. The new snake eater model. Um, check it out on my website if you like it. If you don't like it, I apologize. I'll do better next time. <laughs> Try to anyway. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it.